<clears throat> all right, uh, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. You know, I spend all of my time working all day long in this office and I want my office to be a place that feels comfortable to me, that's, you know, conducive to being creative. And so I finally decided since I own this house that I would finally just take those final steps and make this the office that I've kind of always wanted to have. And that includes, yeah, more Philips Hue strips. Actually, outdoor Philips Hue strips, and I'll explain why in a second. So just real quick, I picked the smallest room in the house for my office because I like a little, just a little square that's my own, just my own little cozy little office. So what we're gonna be doing today is running two Philips Hue strips, one over here, you know, where the ceiling meets the wall on both sides, going down both sides. And because I'm trying to make this space feel a little bit more studious, like I said, you know, conducive to being creative and streaming and recording and podcasting, I want it to sound good as well. So I'm gonna put a bunch of acoustic tiles on the ceiling. And I think that's going to compensate from having the wood floors in here and Hopefully it'll help take down that echo a little bit and deaden the room overall and make it feel more like a cave. I legitimately don't know if I have enough of these. I have a little over 50. And what I'm trying to accomplish is these ceiling tiles alternating one design after the other all over the whole ceiling, pulled out from the wall about an inch and a half to make room for the outdoor Phillips Hue strip. And the reason that I chose the outdoor Phillips Hue strip to use in my office, here, hang on, let me plug it in. I can show you easier. Yeah. And it's because these Philips Hue strips are going to be hanging down from the ceiling. And if I'm sitting at my desk, I'm gonna be able to look up and kind of possibly see them. So when I look up, I don't wanna see individual LED bulbs. The regular Philips Hue strips are just regular individual LED bulbs that you can visually see. But with this, it has this plastic coating on it, this weatherproof plastic coating. You can't kind of see the individual bulbs. And that's the effect I'm going for. I just have to figure out a way to hide this giant long black cord. Yeah. In fact, we're gonna strip this office down to nothing. Boom. Ew overhead lighting. Obviously the first step is I'm gonna have to pull these shelves out of here. I'm trying to avoid taking everything off of the shelves, but <sighs> I'm gonna have to end up unloading these shelves. Anyway, let's get to it. Oh, you're not charged up. I think all I'm gonna be able to do tonight is move the cabinets or move the cabinets, move the shelves and get the Phillips Hue strips up. I might have to wait till tomorrow morning to do the ceiling tiles with my wife because she's better at measuring than me and she's better at math than me. I, uh, I liked Batfleck. I liked Batfleck enough to buy this Batfleck. I spent six hundred dollars on this in 2016. That's dumb. All right, so I got to show you guys this. I just don't like things. Um, with me on them or things in my office that are gonna like, I don't know, inflate my ego or anything like that. So what's kept down here, like way down in the corner, back farthest corner of this, of this shelf, I keep a collection of all of the magazines I've ever been in or where we had like the full page back ad of this, you know, this vape magazine. We used to run full page back ads at Grim Cult tucked all the way in the back, almost like against the wall out of sight. It, it's my 100,000 subscriber uh, YouTube button. I like it, but I just don't like looking at it every day. It's a lot of pressure, honestly. Well, uh, I ran into an issue with the Philips Hue strips. It turns out because they're outdoor strips, they don't have any adhesive on them. 
Duh. So my wife, my brilliant wife, had an idea about brackets and measuring twine. And I think we're going to attack this tomorrow, like for realsies. And, uh, and the acoustic foam. Brought to you by brilliant wife. Definitely not using that. So what we're attempting to do is measure three inches off the wall to center the LED strip right over my desk and to keep all of the acoustic ceiling tiles in one in perfectly straight lines. That's where we're at. And now we're just trying to find the center of the wall. Or not necessarily no, the center of the wall. We need to center it over my desk. It's complicated. Here. This is way more complicated than I thought it would be. Yeah, there's a light. Damn, that looks awesome. Back at it more confident than ever today. After a quick trip to Home Depot, I got some of these corner, you know, hide the cord guys so that my black cord here in the corner gets a little bit more hidden. But otherwise we used the brackets all along the top for the LED strip and it hangs and works perfect. I also realized that my desk wasn't centered in front of this middle rad poster. And so I'm trying to decide if I want to center my desk in front of that poster. I think I'm going to. I think I can't not do it, right? It's gonna be everything has to be centered. So because these Phillips Hue strips are the outdoor Phillips Hue strips, they have large waterproof connections in the cables. And I was trying to decide if I could fit those inside the white tube. And they do fit in there, but it doesn't close all the way and I'd rather have it close all the way and leave those exposed and I figure maybe I can get some white duct tape or something to just cover that up and make it a little bit less noticeable. I think when the shelf is there and when Han Solo and the Tauntaun are back up there on top, you won't even notice. With the LED strips above my desk basically done, my wife and I turned around and pulled that IKEA cabinet out from underneath the posters and tried to center as best we could the LED strip behind it. The sticky backing on the back of the Philips LED strips honestly kind of sucks, so we ended up using uh, 3M foam double-sided tape, and that stuck it down much better. This one particular far end of this outdoor Philips Hue strip gave me a lot of trouble sticking it to the floorboard and sticking it to the wall. It had like a silicone coating on it that nothing would stick to. I ended up using uh, packing tape on the outside of it to finally hold it down. LED strip above the records was obviously much easier. You can just peel it off and stick it, although we did end up using that 3M tape anyway. We came about three and a half inches off of the wall. And I used the same exact sort of hide the cord corner piping that sticks directly to the wall, hides the wire perfectly. It's a white wire anyway, so you don't notice it as much as the outdoor strip. LED strip up. <laughs> Me and my wife, no problem. Easily done. I'm gonna use the exact same technique for the ceiling tiles that I did over there. It's just three inches off the wall. These 3M little sticky squares that I bought from Amazon ended up kind of being really odd and hit and miss. So I went to Home Depot and I bought some 3M, just regular, you know, the green two-sided foam. And then, well, I couldn't pass this up. It says it'll hold 30 pounds. Like, what? It's just acoustic foam. This is, so I think I'm gonna start in this corner. I kind of accomplished what I was going for. I did not have nearly enough ceiling tiles. I greatly underestimated the size of this room. So I'm gonna need a whole fuck ton more ceiling tiles. The good news is I can move everything back into place and then put the ceiling tiles up as I order them. Or ceiling tiles. I keep calling them ceiling tiles. They're acoustic tiles, but they're on the ceiling. Ceiling tiles.
We are closer now than we have ever been. This is not a good look for me. All right, well, it's about as done as it's going to get at this point. I have about mm, 15 sort of acoustic tiles left over. I'm going to make another order so that it covers the whole ceiling. But like I said, this is as far as it's getting right now. But I don't want to use the overhead lights anymore. Oh. But why have plain white light when you can have... <laughs> it turned out really, really great. This is kind of the exact vision that I had in my head. And what we ended up doing was attaching that outdoor Philips Hue strip to the ceiling right above my desk. We went three inches off the wall, attached the strip, and then lined up the acoustic ceiling tiles right next to that in one complete stripe across the wall. We covered one stripe of acoustic ceiling tiles that you may not be able to see right here. Then I kind of repeated the process on the other side of the room, but put the outdoor strip on the bottom. And the reason that I chose to put the outdoor strip down there is because the floor is wood and it would always reflect the individual LEDs. That's something I hate seeing. So with the outdoor strip down there, now when you look at the floor, you just see a soft glowing light and not individual LEDs. We ended up putting the LED strip above my record display, which worked out fine. You can kind of see the individual LEDs reflecting off the records at certain angles, but I like that the LED strip on the ceiling on the record side is a little bit lower profile than the outdoor ones. The indoor ones sit real flush, so it kind of hides really well behind those ceiling audio acoustic tiles. And the last bit of awesomeness that I added to my office were these drapes over here in the corner that I got off of Society6. It's just a bunch of like old vintage rock record, uh, like spines all lined up on my drapes. And I think it's cool. So that's where we are now. This is kind of my office, just 3.0, like the prime version. Eventually acoustic tiles will go all across the ceiling and it'll really, really drive home that cave feel I'm going for. I will put some links down in the description to kind of everything I used for this little office refresh, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to hang out and, and enjoy my new office now. Be excellent to each other. Peace. <coughs> it's like 1030 and I'm uh, just going to smoke. So.